think together. Yeah. <laughs> After two years of quiet Easter dinners, Joanne Thompson and Alan White are planning to spend this year visiting family. It's very meaningful. The, the last two years, uh, we, we've all felt it. it. It's really taken a toll on the family bonds, for sure. In most provinces, masks are not required in most settings. Gathering limits have been lifted and physical distancing has all but disappeared. But COVID has not. Let me just emphasize, all across Canada, doesn't matter where you are, it's very likely that Omicron variant, the BA2 sublineage, is spreading quite widely in your community. I would advise getting that booster shot and masking and improving ventilation. Still, Dr. Theresa Tam stopped short of recommending provinces bring back mask mandates, something only Quebec and PEI are keeping in place until after the holidays. On Monday, Philadelphia brought its mask mandates back, anticipating families will gather for Passover and Easter. It's the first major U.S. city to do so. Each individual is going to have to make their calculation of the amount of risk that they want to take. For weeks, health experts have been recommending the Canadian government change the definition of fully vaccinated to three doses, not two. Concerned our national numbers have languished below 50% for months. When I see people in the hospital and I say, how come you've only had two doses? That's because they say, I didn't know I was supposed to get a third dose. And that's frustrating. The change is under review, so for now the focus remains on encouraging a third shot. The National Advisory Committee on Immunization now says everyone over 18 should get a booster, and Canadians 12 to 17 may be offered one six months after their second dose. Some people also think that, well, I just got an infection, so maybe I don't need a booster. We are recommending it. Urging Canadians to celebrate, but with the expectation they'll use the personal protective measures at hand. Jamie Marocker, Global News, Toronto.